crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestimies.com and today I'm looking at the Recollections brand Resist Pen and this is from the Michaels stores in the United States. Now this pen is supposed to create a resist technique on paper so that you can watercolor over it and we're going to test it out to say today and see how it works. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the dual tip that it has. One side is a brush nib, and it's clearly marked here on the on the barrel. And you'll notice that it has a nice, firm, felt style of nib. Now here on the other side, it actually has a chisel tip. And this is not super wide, but it might be good for, like, fancy calligraphy lettering. And again, it is clearly marked on the barrel itself. There are two clear caps, and uh, each one stacks with the other one so they won't get lost. Now on this first example, I'm going to demonstrate how I use it on a piece of watercolor paper. And first I'm going to write on the watercolor paper using the chisel tip. And it says love, it's really hard to see. Maybe if I twist it a little bit, you can kind of see it there. All right, a little bit. And now I'm actually going to also turn the pen over and use that kind of brush nib to see if I can make like a little flower motif. And here you can see the product actually bubbling up a little bit. So it's a thicker application. Uh, and I'm just gonna make a few little stems. Now it says that you need to let this dry and it should take 30 to 60 seconds. Um, I'm not sure if these bubbles are going to dry that fast, but um, it really is a quick drying product. So now that my sample is completely dry, I'm going to use the Recollections watercolor crayons to add some color to the watercolor and then some water and I'm going to smudge it around with a brush but that didn't work really great. My fingers work better and um, you'll see that after adding some more color I do start to see the word love kind of appear. It does kind of emerge. Um, I'm not sure if this direct to paper technique is the best one for this. Uh, I kind of get it to work but I would almost recommend just using a regular watercolor wash over the top. Now if you're interested in those Recollections watercolor crayons, I would recommend checking the card section because I do have a full review of those and I kind of love them a lot. And you'll see that at the end of the day, I did get this to work out pretty well. So on this sample, I applied the product in the same way, but then I used some uh, like distress stains and sprays over the top. I actually used the spray on the left. I used the stain in the middle, and I used a light wash of the acrylic distress paints over here on the left hand side. And I wasn't sure it was going to work, but I applied it on really thin and then kind of rubbed it out with my finger. And look, it actually resisted the acrylic paint. I think that is pretty cool, and I'm actually impressed with these results. On this sample, I actually tried it on black cardstock, and then I used a metallic water soluble crayon. And as you can see, you see a faint outline of the treble clef there, but really this is not enough of a resist to really make it a go for me. I tried it once again just to make sure, and this time I used a mica spray on top, and actually it looks like the resist pen grabbed the mica, so it worked, but not for the reason it's supposed to work. I still think it's kind of a cool effect. On this sample, I actually tried it on gessoed paper. Now, I put a little bit of a Recollections crane over the top and it resisted a little bit. There's something about using it on gesso that just is not a winner and I can't quite explain it. So this last sample I have for you is my all-time favorite winner. This is using watercolor paper and color burst powders. Now again, I wrote the word create, I let it dry, and then I added a little bit of water, and I used the color burst powders to sprinkle on top. And I love this look. Now it's not as bold as if you were using an emboss resist, but on the whole, this has a lot of impact, and I'll certainly wanna use this one again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and or informative. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because that really does help out our channel. I hope you'll take a look at the cards and annotations for other related craft product reviews and tutorials that you might enjoy. And lastly, I hope you'll join us every time as a subscriber, click the red subscribe button so that all the crafty videos come to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a crafty day.